Yo, try polar bear. Let's talk about some tips on how you can blast maps super fast and how I like to make my money kind of casually in the league start without too, too much brain power and some kind of like tips for doing maps and kind of just like getting the blood flowing for your kind of like clear and, you know, just vibing, just clearing your maps, you know, whatnot. Uh, my first huge tip that I think a lot of kind of newish or maybe uh, more casual kind of players don't take advantage of is just rolling your maps in bulk. So right now I have areas that need a lot of maps completing, right? Eight complete, eight maps are the correct here in this region. And then we need five of Drox. So what I'll actually do is I'm going to search Valdo and I'm going to grab eight maps if I have any or if I have enough that are in the Valdo region. And I just take them all in my inventory and then we're going to search for five maps in Haywork if I have them. So I should have a lot more Hayworks. So we're going to take this map. We're going to take these. And so I take all of my maps out. And then if I want to, I take a couple more out, right? I'm just going to take a few more out of here. Whatever 16s I have left, I'm going to make sure that I get those as well. And then you know what? You can even take all your maps out, right? Just for an example, take all my maps out. And what we're going to do is, and we're going to make sure that we hold shift. I have a tab where I just roll all of the maps that I want to do for, you know, whatever session I have, right? I put them all in here and rolling these maps in bulk is super, super time saving, right? If I rolled every map one at a time, uh, I would be spending like so much time rolling maps. It's really not worth it to uh, be rolling maps one at a time at least when you have a couple and you can even search for maps that you don't have the atlas bonus for right with the if you have the map tab or if you don't have the map tab you just hold alt but you know you can search for the lines and whatnot underneath the maps right so if there was a uh, a 14 that i didn't have completion yet like cursed crypt is a good example right i don't have these two little white bars under here which means i still need the bonus same with the township here and so i like to grab all of these two when i'm bulk rolling the maps just so I can get the completion bonus down for all of these and slowly work my way up. As once you pass 100 and get to like 115, 120, uh, your map sustain becomes an absolute and utter breeze. It's so easy to sustain all of the maps that you need. And I started doing this mass bulk rolling earlier and I got a lot of bonus knocked out because I wasn't doing, you know, three or four maps at a time. I would do as many maps as I could at a time, you know, still don't have the toxic sewer and so now I just throw all of these maps in a tab and I'm going to search for which ones need to be identified and I'm gonna identify all those ones and now I do normal and I'm gonna scour everything that doesn't show up or rather we can do magic since we're not gonna chisel chisels are way too expensive right now and I think chisels will be better uh, once we start actually wanting a lot of juice but you don't need to chisel uh i would do maybe 15s and 16s um uh, but they're like 2.5 or even less to one uh it's really really expensive on those and i find it a little bit unnecessary so i'm just gonna scour all the magic maps that i have and then i can search for normal and i can just elk all of the normal maps that i have and we can get a lot of this done at once and some of you might know what's coming up, but in case not, right now they're all rare. <clears throat> now, normally, uh, you know, just as an aside, before elking them, of course, you would do the chisels. If we were going to chisel, we would have chiseled before elking. Just because it would only take four chisels while they're normal. Uh, you save a lot of money, right? If, if you did know. Some people don't know, all right? Yo, make your maps white before you chisel them, okay? It only takes four then. You don't have to use 20 chisels on a rare map. All right, there's been people out there that don't know that, okay? I have to say that. But I'm a physical build, right? I'm physical blade blast. I do only fizz damage. So guess what I'm going to search for? Physical reflect. And it seems like there's one in here. Even though there's there's actually not. Hold on. We just search for reflect. We don't do fizz reflect. I just search reflect, all right? That's elemental reflect. That's totally fine. This one is elemental reflect as well. Now you can do regen if you can't do no regen. You could do leech if you have a build 
that relies on leech, right? You would roll over this, for example. You'd roll over that and I got leech again. So let's say you can't do leech, then you do it again. Or you can scour elk. Um, but, you know, I don't mind doing some chaos. Uh, it's a little bit of a waste, but it saves me a lot of time when I'm bulk rolling. Now, if you need to do completion on your red maps, you have to corrupt them. So you would just look and you see, you know, this one. All right, I don't have the Atlas map completion. And it's like, oh man, I don't have any Vol Orbs. You know, what am I going to do? How about we talk about that? We're going to head on over to pathofexile.com slash trade. Do not use PUE.trade. It's outdated. It's slow. You'll be whispering people for items hours old. And it's super, super annoying for you and the seller of the items because they keep getting PMs for hours. Trust me, it's happening to me. All right. Use pathofexile.com slash trade. It's much, much better. And you're going to see you can have a bulk item exchange. I have chaos and I want Vol Orbs. And I want to buy, let's say you don't have too much, but let's say you want to buy 20 Vol Orbs at once. So let's go ahead and do that. This guy has 100, but he's only selling, you know, 50 chaos worth at a time. Uh, let's say, you know, you only have like 20 chaos for some Vol Orbs. So let's go ahead and hit this guy up, right? We can get 40 for 20 chaos. We go, we get our money ready. And if in case he doesn't respond to us, I get another message ready. It's all copied. He's taking a second, so I'm going to shoot it out. And you can kind of do this with currency traders. Uh, a lot of them will not respond. So sometimes you kind of have to go down the line a little bit. Uh, you know, it takes a little bit. But if nobody's responding, you know, don't feel bad for spamming. Sometimes these people are bots. Sometimes, uh, you know, they're just doing other content and they just won't get back to you. Really, you just have to keep going down the line until somebody invites you. And if somebody does get back to you, I always at least go to the last guy and do never mind. You know, just so at least that person knows. But let's head on over to his web, to uh, to his hideout. And let's go ahead and get our Vol Orbs. See, that is pretty fast. 20 Chaos. Oh, wait, it's 24. Oh my gosh, I almost scammed him. We gone all the way up to 24 for our Vol Orbs, but that's all right. It's just a little, little bit more. 24 Chaos for 40 Vol Orbs. Now we can head back and we just got 40 Vol Orbs. Now, if you have a little bit more money, I always like to buy supplies in bulk, right? I always try to buy up to 100 because let's be honest, I really hate trading, okay? I, I love getting money from trades, but I hate trading. I don't know. It's a weird thing. So, you know, if, if this were me actually buying them for real, I would have went to this guy right away. I would have bought all of this guy's out and I'd go up to 100, right? So I at least don't have to trade again that day if I do like a ton of maps, right? Like 100 maps. At least I don't have a trade for that day. But let's go ahead and head over to our tab. You can take them to your inventory. You can just hold shift here. And we're going to corrupt this. And we're going to make sure it doesn't get Ellie Reflect. And we just go down the line. In case you don't remember, you can just hold Alt as you go down. And then I'm going to I'm gonna corrupt this one. And that one's fine. That one didn't get Reflect. I didn't do this one yet. Let's corrupt that. That's pretty nice. The port map doesn't have Fizz Reflect. And now... It still doesn't, right? And if you were mass corrupting maps, you could do the reflect check afterwards, right? So let's say, let's say there were some maps here, like let's say all of these uh, needed to be corrupted, right? Let's just go down the line, corrupt all of our red maps here, even the white ones. All right, you don't have to do that, but you know I accidentally did it. Let's say you want Omega Juice, all right? You corrupt all your maps. Now you do the reflect search again. That's really important, right? This one got Fizz Reflect. So I like to put it to the side. This is Ellie Reflect, which is fine. Ellie Reflect and same Ellie Reflect, right? So the only one that went to the Fizz Reflect is Toxic Sewers. And then you would search for Leech and No Regen. Now, another big thing that I like to do is I like to get at least a few rows of these in my inventory. And then I like to keep, you know, my Wisdoms and Portals down here, right? I like to have these here. So that I can just pop out of a map and put one right back in the map device. This saves a lot of time if you do this, right? You you come out of your map, you portaled out, and now you just put another map in there. You open the portals and then you do your trading, right? I'll come out of the map. I'll vendor my six sockets or bad uniques for elk shards. And then I'll close out of Zana. And what I like to do next is take advantage of the affinity tab system. In case you guys didn't know... If you have the premium tabs like currency, fragment, maps, you can set these to an affinity. So when I have chaos, when I have some random maps, 
if I have some fragments and other random stuff in my inventory, you know, it really, it's anything. When I have a dump tab here, I can just control click everything in here and it auto sorts, which is huge. This is an insane time save. It's so, so good. And what makes this very nice as well is that now I don't have to worry about accidentally putting some valuable breach stone or something into a dump tab. Uh, the auto sorting just saves a lot of time, a lot of hassle, and then everything's nice and clean and it's all in the tab that it should be. And it's not all kind of messed around in your currency. Another big question I get while I'm streaming is how I price my items so quickly. So how about we talk about that very fast. Now, what I've been doing since the start of the league is filling a lot of these tabs. Now, at the start, I started at like one chaos, right? At the start of the league, I had filled my tab with some random rares that I got from early maps. And then I went to two, three chaos. I've been doing five recently. And I just sell a lot of stuff for small amounts of currency. Now, how do I know if the item is worth more than whatever the chaos that I've set it at, right? This very arbitrary amount. Well, if I get a PM instantly for an item that I just put in here, right? So how I would know that is if I just put in a belt like this and I come out of my map and I search and, you know, the individual wants the pandemonium thread heavy belt and it's like, oh, like I just put that in there. That probably means he had a live search up for that item with that specific stats, whatever it is. And what I'll actually do for items like this, or as an example as well, items that get two whispers, right? If two people want an item, you know, that's, that's a pretty hot demand. It's probably worth more than what they're PMing. And to check if it is, I use my awakened trade macro. Now this will be in the description. I use my awakened trade macro and it'll give me a price estimate based on the stats that the item has. Now, sometimes it fails to get the price prediction. So you just have to press the button again. In this case, it's control and D you do control D to do that. And you have to make sure you don't move your mouse because it'll mess it up. But let's go ahead and choose another item. You know, trade has been a little bit weird. Let's go ahead and see what my fragment of the Minotaur is, right? It's been at 19 C. It hasn't been selling. Well, it looks like they've gone back down to 15 chaos. So I can do that very fast, right? It's very easy to price items quickly. And what's nice is it'll tell you if the base, right? If the item base is worth something, right? This is a item level 85 Stygian Vice, which is worth a lot, right? A higher item level item can sell for more because the rolls it can get can go much higher, right? You can get more life on the item if it has a higher item level. And so it looks like the base alone for an item level 85 Stygian Vice is about 18 chaos. So let's price that down a little bit, right? And I do this when I get high item level influence gear, I'll price check it. Or if two people PM me or normally before I even sell an item, right? If someone PMs me for an item, I'll just price check it anyway, right? It's just control D. It happens pretty fast when the, uh, when the trade sites actually working. Sometimes it goofs and you got to do it again, right? This belt probably isn't worth anything, right? One is estimating 1.3 to two chaos, right? It, it doesn't really have anything going for it. And also you can kind of tell when an item has some very nice stuff, right? It's going to have like life and two resistances and then maybe a resistance you can craft on there, right? That's probably worth a little something, right? I'll use my macro. It says 28 to 40, but uh, let's see exactly what other items like this are going for, right? Because you can go off of just the uh, predicted price or instead of control D, you do control alt D and now you can move your mouse around and we can actually click inside this menu because before with just control D, if you moved your mouse, this whole thing would go away. Now let's actually see what 95 total resistance with 95 life and let's say it's the arrows pierce an additional target base, right? So it seems like these stats alone will go for around five, maybe 10 chaos for just resistances and life. And we can even set this a little bit higher, right? I have 95. So let's boost that up a little bit. 95 and 95. <clears throat> so now it's like 10, 15, and then you'll see 20. And that 20 should be me. And we can even go and look at these items from within this, right? This doesn't open your Chrome tab or your Internet Explorer. This is still the 
the program opening this and it's still in game, right? So he has a very, very similar quiver, quiver to me. This is about 10 chaos, 15, and then we see mine, right? So I can see these people have quivers very similar to mine and some of them are actually even a little bit better because they don't have crafted resistances here. And so I can actually come and price my item down now. It's probably realistically worth 10 chaos. Now, for some people that get PMs for unique items, right? This can be a little bit special, but something to keep in mind is if you don't if you don't have this on very quickly, go to your UI, scroll all the way down and check the advanced mod descriptions. You need that on so when you hold alt, I can see the roles on a unique item, right? This very first one under the implicit, right under that dex, is going to be the increased global crit strike chance. This can roll from 250 to 350%. So that's a huge range, right? That's a 100 range. So for items like this that are used, the high range can actually add a lot of value. You see, this is a 348 roll that I picked up. And I had sold one of these earlier. So this is something that I recognized. I was like, oh, that's a pretty high roll. Let me price check this. Now, you don't have to exit your game. You don't have to go to the website or anything. You could just do control alt D. And now we just check this box and we go to 348. And we can see exactly what 348 global crit strike Ungle Harmony amulets go for. It looks like about 13 chaos or about 20 down the line, right? This guy might not know how valuable it is, but it looks like it's about 13 to 20 chaos. So I could probably even come down on mine, but I'll just chill at 20. Uh, these are super, super helpful tools. It's super fast. And the, I think the best part is that you don't have to alt tab. I really don't like how we ha all have to go outside of the game to do all of this trading and whatnot. So this Awaken Trade, which again will be linked down in the description, is super, super helpful in helping you price your items and maybe seeing why someone would want to buy something. This is especially helpful, this tool, when you want to start selling maps. So I'm doing 14, 15, and 16s. I should be probably selling my 13s, 12s, and 11 red maps, right? So let's see Belfry that sells for 2 chaos. Crater sells for 2 chaos. Glacier. Oh, I have a trade request limit. So I've price checked too many times. There is a rate limit on how fast you can check things. I've been spamming it a lot for this video. Uh, realistically, you shouldn't hit it, but if you do, you just have to wait a little bit. It's just a feature that the trade website has implemented in GGG so that people can't just spam a price lookup and kind of overload the trade website, slowing everything down like it has been the past few days. So there is a bit of a cool down there. Uh, and it does take a little bit for that to go down. So make sure you don't spam it too fast like I did. Apparently I've queued like 100 of them. So don't do that. <laughs> but that is very handy for checking maps. And then you can sell things very fast. Uh, setting a price for a tab is also extremely, extremely important alongside this, right? I dump everything in here. And I can always sort it later, right? All of these tabs I'll sort later. But I have enough quads where I can just leave this, right? It's a little kind of pay to winny having so many quads, being able to have this much storage space for all of these items. But I've sold a lot of five chaos items that have randomly been in a tab for a few days. People need very specific things sometimes, right? They might need, you know, just like 13 decks. They might need eight lightning resistance. They might want some chaos resistance and then 60 life. You might have an item like that and they'd be willing to pay 5C. And normally an item like that doesn't look too uh too interesting but if you throw it in here someone might take it and if you want like these old tabs you can always price them down too once they get full and that's what i've been doing i'm gonna be taking my 10 chaos tabs and i bring them down to five like this one i should have done this one as soon as it got full and now i'll probably get some pms for some items in this tab and i'll take five chaos trades right a lot of five chaos trades is how i've been able to make my money it's how i got my six link carcass today just a lot, a lot of five chaos trades. They all really, really add up. So you just have to keep that in mind. You know, even three chaos trades. Uh, generally, as the league goes on as well, I'll be listing things in my tab much higher. I started an exalt. I go down to 50 chaos. But right now, not too many people have a lot of money right now. And so 
a lot of 5c trades are a lot better than maybe 150 chaos trade you probably won't get too much big juicer items until you do hit red maps as well so you might as well just throw your random gear in here and see if it sells right and if you do get an instant pm like i said before or two people wanting your item do use your price check on it it is fairly accurate most of the time sometimes it's a little bit off don't trust it 100 percent right if they pm you for an item at five chaos and it says it might be worth like eight to ten honestly just take the five chaos trade pricing it up to eight is probably not worth it and if it's not you know as the league start goes on these items lose value insanely fast these rare rings that have res all these random items everyone's getting more of them you don't have a very special item anymore everybody's got a lot of junk items that are up for trade and it's very easy to get a lot of good stuff for very cheap as the league goes on so you might as well take these early trades while you can anyways i hope this guide kind of helps you guys get in the juicer mindset right the tldw too long didn't watch is bulk roll your maps bulk dump and bulk price and bulk buy your resources that you need to roll maps later on it will be chisels elks and vol orbs right i started by buying a couple hundred elks and that was a very good idea because i've been able to use them and i haven't had to trade so just make sure you're trying to do everything in bulk and i think it's better that way right it takes a little bit of time but now you don't have to roll maps you could just do the fun stuff right you don't have to trade anymore you bought a bunch of bulk supplies so you don't have to trade today it's nice you get to just play the game and have fun anyways i'll catch you guys later meet me on twitch on youtube follow subscribe all of that shenanigans i'll catch you guys there if you got any questions feel free to come in the stream and ask me what's up and what's going on especially if you're playing one of my builds all right hit me up unless it's about the mana flask all right just use your mana flask please just use the mana flask please use the mana flask okay anyway goodbye everybody